If you're in a country where Peacock isn't available, you'll notice you can't download it on Apple TV. However, I'm in New Zealand and Peacock hasn't officially released here and you can see that I have it on my Apple TV device. I'm going to show you very quickly how to do this. Let's get straight into it. So the first thing you need to do is create a US iCloud account. Um, in the top right, there's a video that's going to go through all the steps on how to do that. Again, super easy. The reason you need to do that is because if I go to the App Store, I'm still on my New Zealand iCloud account at the moment, Peacock. You'll notice that I cannot even find the app on the App Store. That's because it's a US only app. So if I then change to my US based iCloud account, and I go back on the App Store, Peacock. There it is there. So all you have to do is open that up, click download. Mine says open because I've already done this. Uh, and then you will have Peacock on your home page, if that's what you call it on an Apple TV device. I'm not sure. Here it is here. The problem is, is even though you've downloaded it, you still won't be able to watch any of its content. I'll show you the error that you're going to run into. If I try and play the Grinch right here. I run into an error that says content not available at your location. The reason I've run into this error is because Peacock is identifying that I'm not in the US. It's scanning my IP address and figuring out that I'm in New Zealand. So to change that, you need to change your IP address to a US based IP address. And thanks to NordVPN and ExpressVPN, this couldn't be easier. Basically, what these do is they allow you to change your IP address to pretty much any country of your choosing. Both of them work the same. They're very reliable VPN services. I use them to watch Max, Hulu, Paramount Plus, Stars, Peacock, loads all outside of the US and they work flawlessly. Um, in the link, uh, in, in the description below, there's a couple of links to some deals that we've got with both of these VPNs. If you use our link, you can get three months of your subscription for free. Um, yeah, so if you want to do this, you're going to need a VPN and the best VPNs for Peacock, in my opinion, are ExpressVPN and NordVPN. So I'm going to show you ExpressVPN, but it's exactly the same with NordVPN. Very simple process. All you need to do is open it up and connect to a US server. So if I go down to the Americas, United States, select a server. And once it's connected, you now have a US IP address, which will make Peacock think you're accessing it from within the US. So if I go back to Peacock now, keep my VPN open. Unfortunately, my recording software does not record uh, content because of copyright. So you're not actually going to see me being able to watch any of this. However, you'll notice that I get a play button and a pause button and I get past that initial error that I got when I didn't have the VPN turned on. So that's how easy it is to do it. Um, if you are interested, do click on the link in the description that will get you three months of your subscription for free. And if you want to read how to do this to go through the steps, I'll also include a link in the description to our article as well. That's how easy it is.